on Tyra. One of the most talked about men in the world, Kevin Federline, speaks out about the photographers who star him. Do you feel hated? And he answers the one question we have all been waiting for. Do you feel like you and Brittany are forever? Then we get promiscuous with Nelly Furtado. The week after I had my daughter, I went, ooh, my booty finger. Is that why you feel like booty again? Now on time. to jump out of your seats or off that couch and dance because we have got Nelly Furtado and Kevin Federline in the house. Yes. And Miss Nelly Furtado is going to be out here a little later, but first, he is one of the most photographed men in the world. You have seen him in magazines and on TV, and you may think you know him, but you'll only be able to say that after you see him and hear him today. And we all know I'm talking about Mr. Kevin Federline. When you hear the name Kevin Federline, you automatically think of his wife, Britney Spears. But Kevin says he is much more than just a husband and a father. Kevin's a talented dancer whose grooves landed him on tour with heavy hitters like Michael Jackson, Destiny's Child, and Justin Timberlake. Kevin's renegade style and sultry good looks turned the head of the fashion world. He signed on as the face of Five Star Vintage Clothing and caused an amazing 300% increase in sales. Woo! Recently, Kevin has broadened his scope of success to include acting. He played gang leader Pigman on the CBS drama CSI. With his new album, Playing With Fire, Kevin's ready to prove that he does have the hits that make you lose control. dancing and that reminds me of where your, your background no pun intended is you were in the back of these famous singers you know supporting them but now you're in the front I mean people are photographing you they're talking about you you have your own album what does that feel like to go from the back to the front um it's great yeah I mean it's it's crazy you know I mean I, I feel like being a dancer for everybody kind of was building me as an artist, mm -hmm. you know, I got to learn a lot of things behind the scenes. I got to go through tons of situations that prepare me for what I'm doing now, you mm -hmm. know. So, I mean, it's helped out a lot. Where did K Fed come from? Did you make that up? No, actually, uh, the media kind of gave me that name. Oh, they did, like Brangelina and yeah, all that type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I just, like, at first, I tried to fight it, you mm -hmm. know, I didn't really like it too much, but. I mean, everybody knows me as K-Fed now, mm -hmm. so I can't really do anything about it. So I just run with it. And Does anybody in your personal life call you that? Uh, no. Nobody calls you that. What does your wife call you? Daddy. She calls you daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She calls you daddy. No, I mean, usually we're, you know, baby this, baby that, uh -huh. you know, that. And daddy. Stuff. And daddy. Daddy. <laughs> what, is, what is when she says baby, what does that mean? Uh, she's just either calling me or trying to wake me up. Uh -huh. or... And then what is daddy when she's calling you daddy? What is that? Well, mean? that's a little bit more intimate. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is your signature look? Because you've had like the cornrows, you've done so many different things. So what would you say um, the K-Fed, the K-Fedder line, daddy look is? Uh, this is pretty much it right here. I'm a yeah. t-shirt and jeans, baggy clothes kind of dude. Uh, I love Nikes. Mm -hmm. um, and you love sagging. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. So describe. We just talked about your signature style and stuff. What is your signature sound for your music? 
Um, I'd say the album is it's a little bit of old school hip hop mixed with a lot of like my own new flavor. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's very upbeat, very club. There's not a song on there that you can't dance to. Uh, and I mean, it says a lot, you know. It's, what type of stuff do you write about? Uh, pretty much on this album, I wrote a little bit about my past. I wrote a lot about my future, and I talked a whole bunch of trash on the paparazzi. So. All right, let's talk about the paparazzi. <laughs> they follow you everywhere. You and your wife, Brittany, you guys went to a play, Wicked. Yeah. And I saw you guys at this play, and like Brittany, she was like walking by. She saw me. She's like, "Hi, Tara." You know, she had a little accent. "Hi, Tara." And um, I was like, "Hey!" And then the paparazzi were like storming you guys, and you had all these security around you to just go see a play. You both had hats on. I totally remember the day. I remember. Like, you remember that day, mm -hmm. Wicked, and it's like that every day for you. Every day. And. I mean, it's something that at first, it you know, kind of just it, I don't I don't want to say that you get used to it, but there's nothing you can do about mm -hmm. it. Was it ever exciting, like, when it first started? Uh, you know, not for me, because, like, from the beginning, it's been all trash talk. Mm -hmm. You know, from the very beginning, it's not been, you know, here and there, you'll hear good things here and there, but, you in know, most for, yeah, in general, it's just mm -hmm. BS. One thing about the paparazzi is they, they choose somebody, you know, and you That's guys it. are that couple right That's now it. that they really want to choose, but one day, they're going to move on to something else, and you're going to finally have that private life that Man, you want. You still have careers, but you know what I mean? Right, they... right. And that, that's the whole thing. I wish, like, I feel like you should be able to hold your own event if you want to be photographed, if you want, you know, because I'm not the person, I, I, I don't like my family being in the media. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you talk about me. I don't care if you put my wife in the, in the, you know, she's, both of us are in it already. Mm -hmm. Like, we are asking for my kids, leave my kids out of it. You know, mm -hmm. like, don't, don't bring my family into this. That's when your papa bear um, wanting to protect comes exactly. in. Exactly. If there were no laws to protect the paparazzi, and you could do whatever the heck you wanted to do to them, what would you do? Let's see. Uh... I'd put them all in a big garbage dumpster and push them down La Cienega <laughs> from, <laughs> from the top of the sunset. Let's push them down the garbage. Yeah. All right, we come back, we'll talk with more K-Fed, or not K-Fed, Kevin Federline. We'll be right back. Up next, Federline's fed up and speaking out. Do you feel like you and Brittany are forever? Plus. Kevin takes us for an exclusive backstage rehearsal for his new tour. It's been crazy the last month. You know, right now I'm working just as hard as any other come out artist. And later, Nelly Furtado flies like a bird and her surprise to biggest fan flies like a baby. New episodes, all new city. New season starting September 10th. You ain't seen nothing yet. Season premiere Monday, September 10th. Back with Kevin Federline. So, Kevin, your wife, Brittany, she looks so good right now and lost that baby weight so fast. How does she do that? Um, you know, I mean, she's working out and, and doing her thing, dancing and all that, getting ready in the studio, all that stuff. So, but I, I mean, it's crazy because... You know, I, I gain the sympathy weight, <laughs> and she loses it in two weeks after she has the baby. You so know, you gained? Like, Do you have something you're trying to get rid of? Uh, oh, yeah. It's been there since, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Not too bad. It's, yeah. it's daddy fat, you know. It's, it comes and goes. It comes daddy and goes. fat. Does Brittany uh, like you daddy fat, or does she want you six-pack? Um... As she, I think she goes through different feelings about it. Sometimes she'll tell me to get my butt in the gym, and sometimes, you know, she, it doesn't bother her. It doesn't bother her. No. Do you feel like you and Brittany are forever? Uh, of course. I yeah. mean, that's, that's the love of my life. I, I don't see myself with anybody else yeah. at all. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's good, you know, like... We work, we work well together. Yeah. You know, we, we do. For some reason, it just works. It just works. It and what, what do you love the most about Britney Spears? Um, I, you know, I love, like, she has a good heart. I mean, overall, like, that to me was, was number one. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a very, like, kind, loving person, and it's genuine. It's mm -hmm. not just, 
It's not Hollywood. It's genuine. All right. So we're talking about all the things that you love about Britney, but I know there's something that drives you crazy. Oh, man. What is it that Britney does that drives you crazy? All right. So my wife likes to wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning and have conversations. 2 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Wait, I, she wakes up at 2 o'clock in the morning? What does she do? Well, I mean, I, either the baby will wake her up, uh -huh. and then she's, like, poking at me. Baby, you, can we go to dinner tomorrow? Or... <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? Uh, it's always different, random. Sometimes I, I, I stay asleep, and I'm probably screaming in my sleep and all that good stuff. <laughs> what is the one thing that no one else but you can give Brittany? I don't know. I think there's so much stuff, you know, like she is she's like she likes the littlest things, you know, it's like like for her birthday. She doesn't want me to go and get her like this yacht or this car mm -hmm. or this, you know, she doesn't want that. She wants me to go get her like these little knickknack things, the little babies. Because those things little... come from the heart. Yeah, it's easy you know, to it's, buy it's, something, right. but when you have to like make it and glue it together and do something right. yourself, it probably That's touches it. her heart. Yeah, she, but I mean, she can buy anything. So she's like, show me your love that you can do for me. You know, I mean, honestly, I think, I think, you know, the one thing is the kids like that's that's her 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 life right yeah. now big time both of us i mean we're uh -huh. you know but i think her even more so than me like i see how dedicated and and, and what kind of mother she is on does a it day, ever make you jealous because dads talk about that jealousy thing that the mom is oh kevin 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 and then now it's like dad you know i'm gonna be no, mama now i don't you know I, I think that's why it's good that I'm working because I probably would be a little bit jealous mm -hmm. if I was at home. It's natural. Mm -hmm. That is natural. What you're talking about so much love with your family, but you did the wrestling, world wrestling, was it WWE? Yes. And you had your song there and everything, but you had a shirt that said America's most hated. Mm -hmm. Do you feel hated? Actually, it's a song that I did on the album. Okay. So you know, that's the song that I walk out to in the wrestling thing, they play America's, America's Most, Most Hated. Hated. But do yeah. you feel hated? Um, you at the time, like no, I mean, at the time that I did the song, it was kind of, it, it was kind of that way. That was back when I was really reading into the tabloids and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, kind of sitting there getting into the whole hypeness of what the media has done and mm -hmm. all that. So, I mean, that was my way of talking out and really kind of making fun of it at the mm -hmm. same time. Did you know that you were on Top Model this season? Uh, no. You didn't know I didn't. that? I, I did. You know what? I, I watch the show, but I usually catch it after it's already aired. Okay, well, you so, haven't seen this I one. Haven't. I did this. I came up with this photo shoot where my girls would be a celebrity. They would be a male version of a couple and the female version of the couple. So our girl, Brooke, was assigned K Fed and Brittany. Wow. So check her out. That's her as you. <laughs> uh, uh, and let's see her as Brittany. <laughs> well, I like her better as Brittany. Yeah. I think she was, well, she got a lot of good points for, from the judges for doing really? you. Yeah, yeah, that's, because that's she was struggling cool. in the competition. Uh -huh. Kevin, she was struggling, and then she did this picture, and she pulled off your masculine hard sexiness and Britney's soft feminine sexiness, right. and she was able to stay longer. That's a good, that's a good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I love the show, too. Like, you I, do? Yeah, I'm a sucker for the show. You watch America's Next Top Model? I, it's my, you know, my wife, she really likes to watch it, so uh -huh. she always catch myself sitting there, and she'll turn it on, and that's it. We're glued to the TV. Oh, my gosh. Brittany, I love the fact that you watch America's Next Top Model. That is so cool. That is really cool. I need to give you, like, a secret shout-out <laughs> something Definitely. to let you know that we're watching you. And I hope that you were happy with how Brooke portrayed you because she got a lot of points for doing the snake and having your sultry eyes and this thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Kevin is about to embark on his U.S. tour, and he invited the Tyra Show cameras inside the recording studio, which is really cool, to see how he's getting ready. Kevin Federline is preparing to hit the road for his very first cross-country tour to promote his album, Playing With Fire. I chose the name because it's it's universal you know and it fits pretty good with my situation with the media with i mean my life how everything has changed plus on top of that what i'm talking about on the album some things are very controversial you know so i mean it, it just fits and he allowed our cameras all access to his hip-hop rehearsal come on okay let's walk it through with counts first it started in Fresno. We started teaching these kids. You know, one of my best friends, he came out here and got a job. So I was like, okay, time to leave everything in Fresno behind and move out to L.A. After like six months, I mean, that I was booking jobs right and left. It, it was tough, but I don't know. I just I made it. Oh, one, two, three, and hold. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three. 
It's been crazy the last month. You know, right now I'm working just as hard as any other come out artist, probably twice as hard. And hold. Six, uh, seven, eight, one. Uh, three. I've been doing this for so long and there's been so much hard work that's gone into this and I mean it'll show when the album drops it'll show and then we get the party started thanks for watching when we come back Kevin will be performing a song from his debut CD playing with fire I'm very excited to hear this song Kevin yeah. very excited we'll be right back to come. Sexy Nelly Furtado struts her stuff. I just all of a sudden looked in the mirror and I went, ooh, my booty's bigger and I like it. Oh, <laughs> the Tyra Banks Show is moving to New York City and we want you to be a part of it. Check it out. Go to my9ny.com to get the very first tickets to the best seats in town. So call 212 or go to because performing Privilege from his debut CD, Playing With Fire, it's Kevin Federline featuring Bosco. That's right. Let's get something to smoke and pour me a glass of privilege to wet my throat. Get out your brand new fit. It's time to hit the town and get into some. Tonight is going down. One to the two, two, two to the three. Fell asleep in a whip. Woke up in a sweep. Last night was crazy. Tonight is going down. Wear it up and show my lady friend all around the town. Mark the Harley and hopped in a truck. Smelling good, looking like 10 million bucks. Blue Yankee hat on. Red monkey pants on, fresh to death, cause I keep the latest cash on. Spark it once, baby girl, get your pants on. Burning kinda slow, that's good, it'll last long. I'm in a fast lane, get my smash on. Flying like a mother, yeah, way past gone. I got LA, feel like Vegas. Nobody guards, I'm forgetting that I'm famous. For the trip was in like the Vegas. I'm feeling myself, and all I got to say is let's get something to smoke. And pour me a glass of privilege to wet my throat Tonight is going down Get out your brand new fit It's time to hit the town and get into some shit been on the West Coast all my life, fell in love with the, just like my wife, fell in love with the Hennessy every damn night, hooked up with my soul, it's about to get right, it's going down like a fresh pair of panties, can't look better than a couple pair of Grammys, you understand me, the city is mine, so I do like the pro, I twist the wine, grab your purse, I live in a two-seater, got a stash spot big enough to fit in two meters, one for me, and one for my girl, Bonnie and Clyde about to conquer the world, I got Gucci on she got pride. She calls me daddy, but she's not my daughter. And I'm not a father, I'm just a man. Got tired of the drugs, so I switched to rap. Like, let's get something to smoke. Come on. And pour me a glass of privilege to wet my throat. Yeah. Tonight is going down. Get out your brand new fit. It's time to hit the town. Get to some trouble, drunk as hell, so I'm walking with a stumble. Pants to my knees, lungs full of trees, kicks on my feet that you ain't never seen. Got lights on my wrist, stones in my ears. Two million dollars I brought in the new year. I'm rich, but my hustle is like I'm broke. Never knowing what the pancake man gon' flip. Ferrari on Monday, Benz on Tuesday, Wednesday I'm riding that SRT. Real smooth in the guts, it's fresh as me, yeah. Can't fed, living comfortably. I ain't trying to brag, but I'm popping tags. Fill the Lamborghini up with shopping bags. Put the Dom Perry on on a bucket of ice. Kick my feet up, ride through the city like light. Let's get something Come to on, smoke. Y'all. And pour Keep me up, man, a glass of privilege to wet my throat. Yeah. Tonight is going down. Get out your brand new fit. It's time to hit the town and get into some.
Sexy Songbird, Nelly Furtado, Serena.